So after the first boot with the original DSDT and SSDT, nothing is working. Uh, no trackpad. So all we can do is set up uh, some basic stuff. What we need to do is to get all the apps put in the application folder. The apps that are listed um, on the front page. And that's including the Kex Utility, IASL, and Mac IASL, and some of those important like Text Wrangler to edit text and stuff. Remove all the uh, generic USB text from Rehab RAM if we use it before to install. We're going to use Kex Utility app to install all the Kex that is listed, that's needed um, for the system to run on our machine. Next, we need to turn on uh, a special command so that we can turn on the app to be accepted from everywhere. So use the command on the screen or you can go to my website and you can see it. For the brightness to work, uh, ACPI backlight.cax and the brightness slider work with High Sierra. Since the USB is not working uh, due to not patching the USB, so we need to use the IO Registry Explorer to find out what we need to patch with our. USB. So we need the IO Registry Explorer and also the DSDT. So what we need to do is to find out which original uh, DSDT USB has and the one that the system uh, give us from the High Sierra. So there's two of them, ESC1 and XHC. So we need to find out those two. And we need to patch whatever's missing from the DSDT and the original from the High Sierra. So after we patch the Bluetooth, we will have the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, whatever is using the USB uh, will work. So this is after we patch the USB, hostfamily.cats. So since the DSDT and SSDT is not patched, the trackpad is still not working doesn't show up yet. So we need to patch the uh, DSDT and SSDT. So we need to use A IASL and Mac IASL. So both of them have to work. So now we're going to patch the DSDT for the battery, for the ACPI to work, and some of the basic um, requirements for everything to work correctly with the system. To patch the DSDT and SSDT correctly, follow this carefully. So you need to get the original ACPI table 
after that uh, we're going to do the disable I mean disassemble the AML so after we do it correctly all the DSL will come up so when we patch we won't have any errors always make a copy of the original DSDT and patch it from there never use the original DSDT so you can call it anything and start from there okay so this one's going to be DSDT for high Sierra so I name it DSDT high important thing is how to set up the MACL uh, Mac IASL correctly we need to go to get the rehab man the patch uh, URL the master one so right click copy the link and then add and paste now make sure we have the Wi-Fi on without the Wi-Fi you won't see the patch see all the patch over there the first one we want to do is to do the audio which is depends on uh, which layout you have so I my layout is 3 so I'm going to patch the layout 3 now the next one is going to be the battery so practically he has most of battery uh, patch on it for all type of computer for mine uh, I look for the X360 the next one is for the HDMI to work we need to rename the B0D3 to HDAU and we have to put the uh, ID layout ID 3 for our So after the uh, USB power, we kind of trial two. One is Windows 8 patch, and one is Windows 7. So make sure we use a 6D as a safe one, and then to patch the with the Windows 8, and then use a 6D again to patch for the Windows 7 and we save now both of these to the ACPI format so we can use it for our DSDT patch so we have to change it to .AML After the SDT, we're going to 
compile all the SSDT, the original one, to see if it works. So if they all work, then it's good. If it's not, they have to fix them so they can compile. If they don't compile, uh, we're going to have problems. So. And also in here, they have the SSDT3, which is the graphics for HD4400. We're going to patch that one with the HDAU and also the uh, Rehab Man HD4400 patch. So watch it carefully. So after everything's done, uh, we're going to open the Clover ACPI table folder, the patch folder, and we're going to copy all of these patch DSDT and SSDT. Uh, we're already bring it over, and then we need to edit config file so that we can put the right name into the config file and now we make sure that uh, we're going to drop OEM for DSDT and SDT. and we also make sure that the uh, Intel inject is true for the full acceleration. So for the Intel uh, CPU speed steps to work with the turbo and everything, uh, we do need the SSD TPR generation uh, from Pike Alpha. So just follow the instruction from the website and we can generate it. So when it's done, uh, we can copy it to the ACPI table, the patch folder, and then we add it into the sort order of the SSDT for this file, okay? Now we're gonna have the speed step and turbo and everything. So after we patch the uh, SDT and SSDT, um, Everything seems to work now. Sound. And also the trackpad is working. And the display. We didn't patch the um, slider, but we can use the Uh, 
so we can download Intel Power Gadget so we can check the turbo on the uh, system and see if the SSCT is really working so now we're checking if the ACPI is actually working so it does move up and down and they'll boost up to 2.7 gig which is good 